In this video, let me consider one numerical on H parameters. Obtain H parameters for the network shown below. This is the given network. We supposed to calculate H parameters or hybrid parameters for this network. So, in finding H parameters, here we can see that we have capacitor and inductor components present in the circuit. So, for easy simplification, I will try to represent this circuit in terms of S domain. So, in S domain, capacitor is represented by 1 over Cs and inductor that is L is represented by Ls. So, in this circuit, we can see that the value of capacitor is 1 farad. So, this will be replaced by 1 over S because C is equal to 1 and here we can see that inductor value is 1. So, here this inductor can be replaced by 1 into S that is nothing but S. Now, let me redraw the circuit considering in S domain that is in S domain <coughs> the circuit is shown below. So, here we have capacitor, here we have inductor and again here we have capacitor. So, here the value of this is 1 over Cs that is nothing but C value is 1 over 1 over S, this value is 1 over S and this value is S. So, here we have input current I1, here we have output current I2, here we have V1, here we have V2. So, this is positive and this is positive negative. So, first let me write the H parameter equations that is H parameters are defined as V1 is equal to H11 I1 plus V H12 V2 similarly I2 is equal to H21 I1 plus H2 to V2. So, let me call this is equation 1, this is equation 2. So, in equation 1 and 2, if we make V2 equal to 0, then we can find H11 and H21. If we make I1 equal to 0, then we can find H12 and H22. First, let us make V2 equal to 0, that is, let V2 equal to 0 that is nothing but that is short circuit V1 1 dash terminal this is 2 2 dash short circuit 2 2 dash. So, the circuit will can be represented as here we have inductor its value is S this is 1 over S here we have 1 over S and we supposed to short terminal 2 2 dash this is 2 2 dash so, V2 equal to 0 means we have to short this. So, here the current was I2, here the current was I1, here the voltage was V1. This is plus, this is minus. So, now if we make V2 equal to 0, I can write H11 is equal to V1 by I1, V1 by I1 and we have H21 is equal to I2 by I1, I2 by I1. Now, let us calculate H11 in easiest way. So, here for time being just forget about this I2. So, here we can see that S is parallel with 1 over S and this combination is in series with this. So, first let me calculate the total impedance of the circuit. That is, I can write total impedance. So, here let me call it as R equivalence that is S is parallel with 1 over S and that combination is in series with 1 plus S that is plus 1 plus S. So, I have R equivalence equal to these two are in parallel that is S into 1 over S divided by S plus 1 by S that is product of resistance divided by sum of resistance plus 1 over S. Simplifying this, here S, S will get cancelled. 1 divided by here, it will be S square plus 1, S square plus 1 
so taking this yes on numerator it will be yes and plus we have 1 by yes let me simplify this further that is r equivalence equal to here we can get yes in bracket s square plus 1 so this yes will go this side that is s square plus here this side we have s square plus 1 that is nothing but 2 s square plus 1 divided by we have yes in bracket s square plus 1 so this is total impedance of the circuit so now i can write v1 is equal to so the current in the circuit is i1 that is i1 into r equivalence therefore we can write v1 is equal to i1 into r equivalence that is nothing but v1 is equal to i1 into v how r equivalence is nothing but v how 2 s square plus 1 divided by s yes in bracket s square plus 1 s yes in bracket s square plus 1 so or I, I can write this as v1 by i1 is equal to we have 2 s square plus 1 divided by s yes in bracket s square plus 1. So this is nothing but we can see here h11 is equal to v1 by i1 that is v1 by i1 is nothing but h11. So that we can write h11 is equal to 2 s square plus 1 divided by s yes in bracket s square plus 1 this is h11 the unit for this is v1 by i1 is nothing but ohm so we have h21 is equal to i2 by i1 i2 by i1 so so from this circuit we can observe that current i1 is flowing like this at this node the current will divide part of the current will flow here and part of the current will flow here. So let me call this current as x, this current as y. So here let me calculate y by applying current division rule. So I can write y is equal to total current I1 into opposite resistor divided by sum of these two resistors that is S plus 1 by S. So this can be simplified as that is I1 into S divided by here we can see that LCM will be S and here it will be S square plus 1 or I can write this S will go on numerator this will be I1 into S square divided by S square plus 1 so here we can see Y is nothing but minus I2 that is Y is equal to minus I2 that is nothing but Therefore, I can write I2 is equal to minus I1 S square divided by S square plus 1. So, I2 is nothing but minus I1 S square divided by S square plus 1. That is, I2 is minus I1 S square divided by we have S square plus 1. S square plus 1. And here we can see I2 divided by I1 that is into 1 over I1. Therefore, I can write H21 is equal to I1. I1 will get cancelled. We will get S square divided by S square plus 1. So, this is H21 parameter. That is S square divided by S square plus 1. So thus, we found first two parameters that is H11 and H21. Now, let us calculate h11 and h21 now let's calculate h12 and h22 so to get h12 and h22 we should make i1 equal to 0 so let me consider the same circuit let me draw the same circuit so for understanding purpose i am redrawing this circuit here this is 1 over s 1 over s this is s here we have v1 here we have v2 here we have i1 here we have i2 so now to find h12 and h22 we should make i1 equal to 0 so put 
i1 equal to 0. So if we make i1 equal to 0, the current through this branch will be 0. That is i1 is 0 now. So no current flows in 1 over s. So if we make i1 equal to 0, so this in, in this expression we can get h12 is equal to v1 by v2. So we have h12 is equal to v1 by v2. Similarly, if you make I1 equal to 0, H22 will be I2 by V2. H22 will be I2 by V2. So, from this circuit, let me find V2. Apply KVL only to this part. We have V2 is equal to voltage across this is 1 over S into I2 plus voltage across this is S into I2 or I can write I2 in bracket we have S plus 1 over S. Similarly, let me calculate V1. So from this circuit, we can see that if I1 is equal to 0, voltage across this is 0. In that case, V1 is nothing but voltage across S. So I can write V1 is equal to voltage across this is S into I2. That is S into I2. So now substitute these two value in H12 equation. Therefore, I can write H12 equal to V1. V1 is nothing but I2 into S divided by here we have I2 in bracket S plus 1 over S. Or I can write I2, I2 will get cancelled. Here we have S divided by S plus 1 over S. Or I can write S divided by this S will go on numerator. It will become S square. And if we take LCM, it will be S square plus 1. So therefore, we have H12 is equal to S square divided by S square plus 1. So now let's calculate H22. So here we can see that H22 is equal to I2 by V2. That is I2 divided by V2. V2 is nothing but I2 into S plus 1 over S. That is I2 in bracket S plus 1 over S. So I2, I2 will get cancelled. Here we have 1 divided by S plus 1 over S or I can write 1 divided by. So here S will be the LCM. We have S square plus 1 or it is S divided by S square plus 1. So therefore, H22 is equal to we have S divided by S square plus 1. So these are the H parameter values for the given circuit. Let me write the consolidated values that is H11 is equal to we have 2 S square plus 1 divided by S in bracket S square plus 1 H12 is equal to S square divided by S square plus 1 H21 is equal to we have minus S square divided by S square plus 1 and H22 is equal to S divided by S square plus 1. Thus, we found H parameters for the given circuit. Thank you for watching.